Good morning children. Now in this third and final session, I will explain how to draw double bar graph, the meaning of chance and probability. So all these are the little new topics for you. So are you ready? Let us start. Students, in this last session, I will explain how to draw a double bar graph, chance and probability. Now children, you know how to draw a bar graph. Let us understand how to draw a double bar graph. A double bar graph is a graphical display of information using two bars beside each other. It is used to display two sets of related data on the same graph. It helps us to compare more than one kind of information or you can say situation. Clear children? Let us understand by one example. Over here, class-wise number of boys and girls data has been given. We have the data of number of girls and boys class-wise. Now we will understand how to draw a double bar graph. Understand children? Now student, here we have to represent the data of number of boys and girls in different class. Correct? So first of all, we will take one graph paper and we will take a scale. Here we will take a scale 1 unit is equal to 5 students that is boys and girls. On x axis we will mention the classes 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 and on y axis we will mention the number of students that is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Clear? Understood? Now, while drawing a double bar graph, as we are representing two sets of data, we will differentiate the bars either with two different colors or some design in the bars. Here you can see that there are two boxes drawn on the top. The one with the blue color refers to girls and one with blue lines is for the boys. So it is very clear that number of girls are represented by blue bars and number of boys are represented by line bars. As the number of girls in class 5 are 30, so we will extend blue bar up to 30 and number of boys are 20. So, line graph we will extend up to 20. For class 6, number of girls are 35 and number of boys are 40. So, we will extend our blue bar up to 35 and line bar up to 40. So, children, all of you understood how to draw the double bar graph. I hope you have understood. Now children, same way you can draw the bars for the standard 7, 8, 
and 9 understood children i think it is clear how to draw the double paragraph understand fine students now we will solve sum number 4 of exercise 3.3 the performance of a student in first term and second term is given. Draw a double bar graph choosing appropriate scale and answer the questions. First term marks and second term marks are given here. In English, he scored 67 marks in first term and 70 marks in second term. In Hindi, 72 marks in first term and 65 marks in second term. Math, 88 marks is scored in first term and 95 marks is scored in second term. In Science, 81 marks in first term and 85 marks in second term. And in social science 73 marks he scored in first term and 75 marks he scored in second term now i will explain how to draw the double bar graph now i will explain how to draw a double bar graph to represent the given data that is marks scored by a student in two terms here you can see that i have mentioned subjects on x-axis and marks on y-axis i have taken a scale one unit is equal to 10 marks now children that is 10 20 30 40 up to 100 on y axis now children you see that there are two boxes drawn on the top the one with the green color refers to the first term marks and one with the pink color is for second term marks now children that means first term marks are represented by all green bars and second term marks are represented by all pink bars understood children clear and now you see that the student has scored 67 marks in english in the first term and 70 marks in the second term so green bar has been extended up to 67 and pink bar has been extended up to 70 the next subject is hindi in hindi he scored 72 marks in first term so green bar has been extended up to 72 and pink bar has been extended up to 65 so children now have you understood this how to draw same way for maths science and social science clear i hope children you have understood and you will be able to draw double bar graph now okay now let us write the answers for the above sum what the questions are? See, first one is, in which subject the child improved his performance the most? Now here children, we will compare the marks scored by the child in both first and second term. And you see that in math, in first term he has scored 88 and in second term he has scored 95 so in math his performance is increased by maximum number of marks and that is 7 marks clear second question is in which subject is the improvement the least means very small very less improvement 
so you can see that in the social science in first term he scored 73 and in second term he scored 75 so correct how many marks are increased only two marks are increased so we can say that in social science his improvement is the least improvement It's only by two marks correct and the last question is has the performance gone down in any subject yes now let us see over here you can see that in first term in hindi he scored 72 marks but in second term he scored only 65 so he scored less marks in the second term clear so yes in hindi his performance has gone down by 7 marks so all of you understood children how to draw the graph and how to answer the questions based on this graph clear understood students in our daily life we use words such as impossible certainly very likely 50 50 chance etc to describe the chance of a happening of an event understood children now there are three different situations the first one is certain to happen uh, that means the sun rises in the east the second example would be it snows in shimla in the month of january so that is something which is definitely going to happen is it or not now the second one is impossible impossible means which is not going to happen any time are there 30 days in the month of july no there are 31 or an ant growing to 3 meter height it is quite impossible so these are the impossible events and the last one is may or may not happen that means you can say that it may happen but not certain today my friend may call me or may not clear india may win the next test series or not we may get tickets for movie or may not the situation that may or may not happen has a chance of happening understood children there are three different situations the first one is certain to happen second one is impossible and the third one is may or may not happen clear now students moving to next point is probability when a chance is defined in mathematics it is called probability probability is the extent to which an event is likely to occur measured by the ratio of the favorable cases to the whole number of cases possible that means probability is equal to number of favorable outcomes divided by number of all possible outcomes probability children involves making predictions about things that may or may not happen let us understand this in detail when a coin is tossed the possibility of getting a tail is 1 upon 2 
if you will toss a coin the probability of getting a tail is 1 upon 2 understood children the next that means events that have many possibilities can have probability between 0 and 1 understood children the next one is some events which will never happen that means probability of an event will not be less than 0 because 0 is impossible something will never happen getting a number 7 when a dice is thrown is it possible no so events which have no chance of happening have probability 0 0 refers to an impossible where something will never happen and the last one is events those are bound to happen have probability 1 something will happen clear children that for example if there is a june month then the probability of next month being july is one because it is certain to happen next month is bound to be july clear children i hope you all have understood this now children let us solve one example from exercise 3.4 I will take second sum. There are six marbles in the box with numbers from 1 to 6 marked on each of them. Now we have to find out what is the probability of drawing a marble with number 2. Now what is to be done? Yes, correct children. Over here we will write probability is equal to number of favorable outcomes upon number of possible outcomes. What is the favorable out outcome? That means number 2. That is 1. And number of possible outcomes is 6. So, a probability of getting a number 2 is 1 upon 6. Clear children? The next one is what is the probability of drawing a marble with number 5? So again same way probability is equal to number of favorable outcomes upon number of possible outcomes now which number is to be 5 so 1 upon 6 again drawing a marble with number 5 is 1 upon 6 clear children understood children i hope you all have understood chance probability and how to draw a double bar graph Children, here we have completed the chapter of data handling. I hope you all have understood it. Kindly revise it and solve the sums of the exercise. I am sure you will be able to solve all the examples. Thank you so much.